Hi, I'm Shane with eTar.com. Today I'm gonna to walk through how to install the DrawTight Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on your 1999 Chevrolet Silverado. Maybe your vehicle didn't come with a hitch and you're looking for a hitch uh, to put on. This DrawTight hitch, I think, is the perfect solution. Maybe you have a factory hitch on and it's just wore out, you're wanting to replace it. Again, this is gonna be a perfect solution. <coughs> nice features about this hitch that I really like. One, Receiver, the cross tube is pretty much hidden behind the bumper, so the only thing we really see is our receiver tube. Maintains a really nice, clean look. Another thing is gonna be our safety chain loops. They're angled in a different way, which we'll go over in just a few minutes. It's also gonna have a nice black powder coat finish that's really gonna help any rust or corrosion, make it, or help it look nice for a really long time. It's gonna be a class three hitch, two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. Reinforced collar to give us a little extra stability here. Hitch pin hole. It's gonna be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's gonna take a standard 5 8 hitch pin. Hitch pin and clip does not come with this hitch, however, they can be found here at eTrailer.com. This hole here is gonna be for a J-pin stabilization device, and what that does, it takes any shake and play out of any of your hitch mount accessories. We're gonna have play style safety chain loops, and this is what I mentioned that I really like about this. If you notice, it's a bracket that kind of goes up at an angle. Unlike some of the other ones that may be on the bottom here, uh, the ones on the bottom will kind of interfere with your uh, pin and clip. With them being angled like this, we're not going to have any interference with our uh, pin and clip, and it's going to allow us to use different size safety chain hooks. Now I'm going to give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any of your hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, a ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper, it's going to be about four and a half inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up against your vehicle. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is going to be about 16 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of those hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. Now as far as our weight capacities go, we're going to have a 600 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So you want to make sure if, when you're using that cargo carrier, bike rack, or whatever it is you're loading on the hitch, you're not exceeding that downward pressure. 6,000 pound gross trailer weight, that's how much the trailer can pull, or how much the hitch can pull, it's gonna be the trailer plus the load included. You can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight's gonna to go up to 1,200 pounds, trailer weight's gonna go up to 12,000 pounds. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle, make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight, you're gonna go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go ahead and walk through how to get it installed. Now to begin our installation, I went ahead and lowered the spare tire for video purposes to make it a little bit easier for you to see. On each side, this bolt is holding or is holding this bumper bracket on. You can see the top of it is open to the elements also. You want to make sure you clean those threads off when you remove it. You need to remove this one and you're going to have one on the other side to remove. We'll use a 22 millimeter socket. We're going to have three holes on each frame rail. We're going to take the larger spacer block, carriage bolt, we're going to go into this large hole. Smaller spacer block, carriage bolt, we're going to put one in this hole, and we're going to put one in this hole. Then we're going to repeat that process on the other side of the vehicle. Now the next set of hands will lift our hitch into place. We're going to replace the factory bolts that we took out up here. We'll get one on each side that'll help hold the hitch up while we install the remaining hardware. For these, we're gonna put on a conical tooth washer. You wanna make sure the teeth are facing up towards the hitch and a nut. For the 22 millimeter socket and a 20 millimeter socket, we're gonna tighten and torque all of our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. Once you have all your hardware tightened and torqued to the specification and the instructions, you're ready to go. Again, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. I hope this video has helped you, whether you're still deciding or installing the DrawTight Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on your 1999 Chevrolet Silverado.